India has prepared for a twin cyclone in the Indian Ocean. We are going through this phenomenon which is very rare in nature. In the Arabian Sea, we have the Cyclone Tej. In the Bay of Bengal, Cyclone Harmon. And this is a rare phenomenon showing that climate change is real because Indian Ocean is becoming an emergent basin of severe cyclones. Let's move forward and talk about the kind of aspects that we are going to go through. From the perspective of GS Mains Paper 1, of course, we have to know about tropical cyclones, how they are named, the formation stages, other than this, of course, why we are noticing more and more cyclones in the Arabian Sea, what has changed. Other than this, in the preliminary examination, you can also get a lot many questions. So without any delay, yes, I would like to suggest not to make, make notes because I provide the notes through my telegram channel, Pooja Devedi UPSC. If you have any queries regarding this examination, feel free to talk to me on my Instagram and follow me on my threads. So this picture shows us that Cyclone Tej is moving in a fashion that may not be very impactful for Indian West Coast. But of course, it is going to have implications on the weather in certain regions. It has formed in the Arabian Sea and now it is moving towards the Arabian Peninsula. The second one that has been forming in the Bay of Bengal is Cyclone Hamoon. Cyclone Hamoon will possibly hit Andhra Pradesh today and it is also going to impact West Bengal and Bangladesh. So as you can see that these two cyclones have emerged at once. India has a long coastline. That means we are very vulnerable. We need to take stock of what we need to change in the changing times. So many people depend on the livelihoods through the coastal areas of India. Between them, these two, there is a gap of 2500 km between Cyclone Tej and Cyclone Hamoon. Now let's find out what are tropical cyclones. Cyclones are basically disturbances in a stormic way. It's a storm which is centered around a low pressure area. And whenever these storms get formed between the tropics, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, these are known as tropical cyclones. As we know that this region of the earth receives the most amount of sunlight. That is why it is very possible for more heat to be generated. And when more heat gets generated over the ocean mass, over the large mass of the oceans, they can create cyclones. So we will talk about that as well. They are known by different names in different areas, the tropical cyclones. If we talk about West Pacific Ocean, they are known as typhoons. If we talk about East, they are known as hurricanes. West Atlantic Ocean also they are known as hurricanes. In East and West of Australia, it is known as cyclone and India, tropical cyclones or cyclonic storms. All right. So if I have to show you how they are formed, they go through three stages. First is, of course, the origin stage where they grow as in form, then mature stage where they properly grow through condensation and finally dying out or dissipation. In order to understand cyclonic storms, we have to understand that when there is a presence of huge mass of water which is receiving constant heat, it will generate cyclonic storm. Once it can go through sea, then land and finally to the sea. When it goes through the land because the moisture reduces, similarly it gets weakened. Now, where we need to understand, what we need to understand is what are the conditions that are needed to form a cyclone, tropical cyclone. A large still warm ocean area where the temperature is above 26.5 degrees Celsius. So when that happens, air starts to ascend because of the heat evaporation. And when this air starts to ascend, it also forms moisture. It takes moisture with itself. There is wind coming from both the sides, which is making this warm air that is ascending to be restricted to a space. And thereafter, it continuously forms a system. This is a kind of system. Finally, when that happens, we see condensation and cooling. That means cloud formation that can rise up to 10 kilometers in the troposphere. And when that happens, there is also draft that is going on, draft wind that is going on above. So you see two winds from here and one from above. A proper chain of system starts to take place. This is finally, we are moving to the mature stage after the origin. And this is now a system when the warm air ascends and cool ones come down. 
So this is a proper system, self-sustaining system. That means it has formed a self-sustaining system because of the constant presence of water, warm water. And the clouds can go from 12 to 15 kilometers as well in the vertical fashion. And with the help of Coriolis effect, that is the movement of the earth, this Coriolis effect takes place. This finally forms into a mature stage. Now it will start to spiral. And once it starts to spiral, there is the eye of the storm which is a low pressure area. The pressure is very low in this particular area and then this is known as the eye of the storm. All right. Around this eye of the storm only, all the systems happen. In the southern hemisphere, they rotate in a clockwise direction, the tropical cyclones. In the northern, anticlockwise. So this is what you have to understand about the formation of tropical cyclones. And as you see that they are categorized in different manners according to their wind speed. A cyclonic storm has a maximum sustained wind speed of 63 to 87 km per hour. When it has a maximum speed of 88 to 117 km per hour, it becomes severe cyclonic storm. Then when it, once it goes to 118 to 220 km per hour, it becomes very severe cyclonic storm. And when it goes to 222 km per hour or above, it becomes a super cyclonic storm. We are seeing that in a very early fashion, cyclones are reaching this particular speed. That means a lot of moisture is being carried. That means a lot of heat is being produced in these seas. Moving on. If we talk about cyclone page, it is moving to northwest direction. It is supposed to make a landfall. That means finally it will meet the land. Once it meets the land, moisture which, was, which it was getting through the sea, that is absent. And hence it will weaken and finally it will dissipate. It will make a landfall possibly between al Gaida and Salalan in Oman. Oman has Salalan and al Gaida has been in Yemen. Okay. So it will be around noon of 24th October as very severe cyclonic storm. This is what the projections are. Moving on. But in India also, there have been guidelines that are provided to the fishermen to stock their boats. And this shows the seriousness of this particular cycle. Although it is not going to impact in a landfall fashion in the west coast of India, but of course it will have weather implications. So as per IMD guidelines, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram and Tripura, light to moderate rainfall will be expected. Of course, it will have an impact on the weather system. That means we have to look for flash floods. Other than this, South Assam, light to moderate rainfall at some places with isolated heavy rainfall. That will happen on 25th October. Similarly, for coastal districts of Odisha, light to moderate rainfall and coastal districts of West Bengal, light to moderate rainfall. So rainfall is going to be impacted in a fashion which may be seen soon. Now, as you see that uh, climate weather official has shared an update on cyclone stage saying that cyclonic storm won't have impact over the west coast of the country. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about cyclone Hamoon. Hamoon formed in the Bay of Bengal. Tej as by the name, you know, it has been named by India. But Hamoon has been given its name by Iran. There are 13 countries that are responsible for naming the cyclonic storms in the Indian Ocean. I will talk about that as well. And it is supposed to give way to Andhra Pradesh. It will also impact West Bengal and Bangladesh because of its movement. How they are named? How are tropical cyclones named? See, there are regional specialized meteorological centers and tropical cyclone warning centers which are responsible for the direction, trajectory and all the sorts of knowledge for cyclones. And there are six RSMCs in the world. IMD is also one of them. IMD being one of the RSMCs in the world, it is responsible for collecting names. The names that are given by 13 countries to the cyclonic storms in the Indian Ocean. A proper formula was chalked out in the year 2000 and back then there were uh, certain countries that were chosen that you are going to name our cyclones. Later on other countries were, were also added in 2018 Iran, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, UAE and Yemen. These all were added. Now it takes us to 13 countries in total. India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Pakistan, 
म्यांमार मॉलदीव ईरान ओमान कतर सऊदी अरेबिया यू ए यमन एंड थाईलैंड यमन फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेड गिव दिस नेम मोका बांग्लादेश ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड द नेम अर्लियर बिपर जॉय इफ यू रिमेंबर देन इंडिया तेज एंड फाइनली हामून हैज बीन नेम्ड बाय ईरान सो इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आई एन डी कलेक्टेड थर्टीन नेम्स फ्रॉम थर्टीन कंट्रीज दैट मीन्स वन सिक्सटी नाइन नेम्स वर कलेक्टेड देर आर लिस्ट दैट आर क्रिएटेड लिस्ट वन लिस्ट टू लिस्ट थ्री लाइक दैट इन लिस्ट वन द लास्ट नेम वॉज मोका दैट वॉज गिवन बाय यम इन द सेकेंड लिस्ट वी हैड फर्स्ट नेम बिपर जॉय सेकेंड नेम इज इंडियाज तेज एंड थर्ड इज हामून ओके रिमेंबर दैट मूविंग ऑन uh why more cyclones we are witnessing in the arabian sea that is also important for us to know see the sea surface temperature over the arabian sea has increased by 1.2 degree celsius to 1.4 degree celsius in the recent decades and we saw that we need a sustained warm mass of water in order to produce ascending air then two winds will come and restrict them one draft will be there upwards formation of clouds up to troposphere 10 kilometers and it becomes a self sustaining system so for a sustained period of time if the temperature of the arabian sea will increase it will also give birth to more and more cyclones in 2020 an article in the nature journal said that between 1982 to 2019 a significant increasing trend in the intensity frequency and duration of cyclonic storms and very severe cyclonic storms has been observed over the arabian sea there is a 52% increase in the frequency of these during the recent epoch in the arabian sea then there is a decrease of 8% in the bay of bengal that means bay of bengal seems to become cooler as compared to the arabian sea this is what apparent reason is this there is also an 80% increase in the total duration of cyclones that means they are being sustained for a longer period of time that means heat is on a continuous basis moving on the duration of very severe cyclones has also increased by 260% the change in the arabian sea's character has also led to more severe cyclones forming and sustaining over the north indian ocean accounts for 6% of the global tropical cyclones annually so you remember these kind of facts you can write in your mains examination as well as prelims whenever a question such as this is asked now prelims question consider the pairs cyclone name and the country which gave it Moka, Iran, Hamoun, Yemen, Tej, India. How many of the pairs given above is or are correct? Let me take the names of those students who have answered my last question correctly. I asked a question to you for Gaganyaan. Option D was correct. Mansi, Simran, Vishal, Varsha, Vishal Bharadwaj, Priya Darshan, Varun. You all have answered it correctly. Answer this one as well. Thank you so much for watching.